Welcome back, Math 7. Today is, I believe it's lesson 3 of chapter 12. Um, just a little quick recap. The very first lesson when we started this statistic unit or working with data unit, uh, we started with talking about average calculation, which is mean, followed by median, and now it's a third method, mode. Uh, today's lesson will be relatively the easiest, and at the same time, it's a, um, <clears throat> it's a, how can I say, it's a fastest to calculate. Funny thing is, I said calculating, it's more determining. You don't have a formula like mean, median did. Uh, so have that in your mind. So what is mode? Mode is another way of finding out the central tendency. So basically so-called average value, uh, mode represent it represents the most frequently occurring number in a set of data. So only thing you need to do is finding out what repeats the most, basically. So the funny thing is, you don't need a calculation. You just find out which one repeat the most. So we're going to do a quick example. And let's say I draw the card and then figure out these random sets of number. It is good idea to arrange it from lowest number to largest number or vice versa, largest number to lowest number. But of course, ascending order is the best way that you can do, like the way that you see in medium. Because here's the thing. Yes, a three looks like the most repeated, but I see multiple fives and you just want to make sure, right? So here's what I do. I put ascending order so that you can start listing from lowest number to highest number. And I cross things out. One's gone, two's gone. One, two, three, four, two, three, four, and then four, one, two, there you go. <clears throat> now, as you may notice, at this point, number two, I circle on the most recurring number or data. That's what I do as a second step. And for the last step, report the value. My mode in this example is equal to 3. Now, as you may notice, this is an easiest, easiest um, method that you can see. However, does it represent the total honest value of average or not? We need to think about you need to judge basically at that situation. Now, the logic of mode work like this. If we have a lot of number that repeats, that means we may not need to do average calculation because there is a possibility where average will go up or down. So mean value can go up or down if we have really, really high number of value or really, really low number of value that bring the uh, average up or down basically on the other hand if we find out most repeating number there is a possibility that most repeating number can be used as a generalizing number to represent the whole data set 
that is basically how mode explain its method and if you use median or mean sometimes it agrees so let's do a quick example of median one two three four five six seven eight nine ten examples so that's even number so that means one two three four five i have a little midpoint and three and three we are just adding those and divided by two which is six over two three as you may notice median and mode agree each other so sometimes like i said if you have a lot of repeating value that has a higher chance of representing the average value that's again what the mode suggests let's do mean calculation add everything so one plus two plus three plus three plus three plus three So you can use calculator or you can use a mental math. Those make three. So one, two, three, four, five. Five times three, that's 15. 20, 25, 29, 29 plus seven. So it's 36, which gave you 3.6. So if you do mean value calculation, which is what we generally know as an average calculation, add everything in and then divide by the number of set of data and that provides you 3.6. Now, it's close enough. It doesn't agree necessarily. Like this. So how can we use mode? This is a way that I give you as a little bit of a guideline when can we use mode I put good to use and not good to use and I'm going to create an example let's say Actually, I just created not good to use one in here. So why don't we just change it? So if you think about these, uh, how can I say, and then a five again, something like that. As you may know, five is the most repeating number. But you need to see if these repeating number represent the majority. I like to say it is not. Although it repeat the most, yes in this situation however it does not represent the whole group because if you think about it one two three four five six seven this is just two out of seven situation that's not good enough two out of seven is not even halfway so in this case it may not be good idea to use mode in fact in that case mean would be better calculation on the other hand something that is good that's as you may notice if I have four four five 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 seven something like that five is repeating five times out of eight situation so if you look at the situation five out of eight that's already more than half so maybe mode is good idea to represent the whole average value so if we do a quick calculation mode is five first of all and it's one two three four that's a cut point one two three four that's another cut point because it's even number even if you do median you know that it's five plus five so that's these two value then divided by two that's ten divided by two and that's equal to five so as you may notice mean and median value agree even if you do mean, they will be very close. Sometimes it's, most of the time it's unlikely to, I'm just going to do 5 times 5 because we know it's repeating 5 times, then 7. 
But in any case, um, it is rare to see mean, medium, mode all agree to each other. But let's let's just play. Um, four plus four that's eight. Eight plus seven that's uh, fifteen. Plus twenty five divided by eight, so that's um, forty divided by eight. That's five. Oh, what do you know? Mean, median, mode. It turned out to be five, five, five. So as you may notice. All three of them agree to each other. That is lesson that I wanted to go through today. That is everything. Your homework, ladies and gentlemen. I know today's lesson doesn't take calculation, but we are going to go through some comparison, especially in mode and uh, median in this situation. Your to-do list is... Oh, I lost my page... Page 427. 10, 11, 12, 14, including the mode, please. That is today's lesson.